Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello everybody and welcome to our SummerSlam PLE here on Season 2 of My GM Mode. Week 10. I'm excited. You should be excited. We got everything lined up here. And I will say, PLEs, like, we, I haven't done any of the real booking yet, but just thinking about it. Hey, Vic, good to see you here. Uh, PLEs are usually a lot easier to book than the uh, the weekly shows, just because you don't have to worry about, you know, overburning out a feud, even though we are going to burn off a feud that is stale right now in the in the show and hopefully get some stars out of it. But uh, these ones have already been booked for a while here. So, uh, yeah, folks, uh, and just so you know, as we go along here, uh, well, let's let's go, Zodiac, at a boy. Uh, we are recording these live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref, uh, every w Wednesday and Saturday after AEW Collision, after AEW Dynamite. As long as they're not on stupid times or overbooked shows. Either way, uh, you know what I mean, but... And uh, the, for those watching on Twitch, we do play these off on our uh, Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. So please feel free to give us a subscribe there. But you know what? I've been yapping way too much. Let's get to it. So last week we were here. We were in second place, technically. Fan-wise, we are in third, 2,000 behind ECW. The funny part about everything is here, we don't have any... Just contracts expiring. That's all we have. Everything else has been completed. There's nothing stupid. We need a cage match, which is what we use to settle feuds. So, we got logistics here. Let's... Before I forget anything, we get the SummerSlam PLE bonus. That's already been done. Now, with the roster, we're allowed to boost somebody. Who is it? Ah, Brittany got to level 10. So, her stamina has always been pretty good, so let's give her some popularity boost. These jobbers, it's always good to... Or enhancement talent, sorry. It's always good to give them a little uh, popularity boost as we go. Uh... Show logistics. We could theoretically... Oh, it's 250 for that, so... We could get the stage crew. We'll leave that out. Here's the thing, chat. Here's my goal of what, what I want here. We're going to use... The asset for SummerSlam this week. If everything goes the way I plan here, next week we're going to be able to move into the arena. Once we start moving into the arena... That's when we're going to start getting the fans. We're going to get the revenue and things are going to start chugging here. So, but you know what? I could yap all day. Let's get, let's get booking here. We're going to do a cage match for our main event. It is going to be our champion Gunter taking on Carmelo Hayes. Our mid card match is going to be another cage match for our other level four feud which is Becky Lynch and Cora Jade. Our opening match. Where is our next big... Okay, Ivy Nile and... Yeah, I guess Ivy and... I'm going to be the next biggest one. Screw it. We're gonna do a th we're gonna do a three level there, and then here where we got. Let's see if we get a tag. We're gonna we're gonna get stipulations on everything, but I want to save that one there. So let's 
Put Baron back in there. Let's make this one a tornado tag. Make it a title match. This one I got to adjust to a title match. This one I got to adjust to a title match. And the last one we could book it here. Dragonov's got 29 stab at us, so. You know what? I really want to get this few going here, so let's. Let's go all the way over here. These guys could actually hack it out here. Put the title on the line. Let's just load it up here. But then you turn around and say, well, Mike, how can you all do this? You got, like, the show costs 245000 but you only have 204 Well, my friends, let's just pop over to here. The power cards. My GM is the Million Dollar Man. So everybody has a price. All matches are free to book this week. So we have officially cost no money for this show. Hell yeah. All right, let's... We got to get some promos going here. We got lots of people available for promos. What we'll do actually is do a tag team call out. Oh no, we'll do uh, Scarlet and JC Jade here. So there we go. We'll do that one. Charity promo. We can always put. Uh, And it'll actually I'll put Brittany for that. And what I'll do here is I'll put an advertising promo for JC because she can afford to lose the uh, stamina. And a sell promo to put themselves over. You know what? Let's see if we get this uh, promo. Let's get. See if Ava could call Trixie out here. Let's see if we get this promo going up a little higher. There's your call out promo, advertising charity. Although I, I I'm a little bit more heavy on the uh, women on the roster here. We are gonna have to give the pre match physio to Scarlet. So before I forget, I got three of these, so I might as well use them, right? So I'll keep her healthy. Fifty pot. Ugh. Who do I want to use this side to get over? If he gets the title and gets 15 popularity out of that, he could be at 90. He's on the title run, so I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm going to use this on Fallon right now. Well, she's just call it out, so that ain't going to be a useful anyway. I 
Do I use it on Baron? No. I think maybe I'll just hang on to it just to be safe here. So the other thing I want to do here is that's title match, that's title match, that's title match. This one isn't a title match, but it is a feud. I think we should be okay here on this. I don't want to use this one here because this rivalry is actually stale. Actually, what? Even though it is stale, I want to use that here. Yeah, I, I'm thinking we're going to go this way. Even though the rivalry is stale, it is still a four-star match. And with that, I can change this from a steel cage because I don't need to. I don't need to end this right now. Let's put this in a submission match here instead. Then we got four title matches. We'll put this one in the middle. I think we got it. And this is what I want as my main event here. The four star, Gunther and Carmelo. I think this should do it. Unless I want to do... Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. This one will get me a little lower on the card just because it is a different match. But yeah, I think we got everything here. Let's just... I want to see if there's any power cards to pick up. That one's cheap. That one's cheap. What else we got here? We got exp we got one that could gain 30 XP. Is there anybody here that we could uh, get close to leveling up here? I want to get her to I want to get her up but I want to wait until she's actually up. I think we'll hang on to all that. I think we're good. Like I said, these PLEs are some of the easiest to book. You just don't want to, you know, screw things up. And because I bought those power cards, I don't have enough to get any of these extras here, but I actually want to hold off on them anyway just because we do have that arena in the future here. If we can make the extra money off that, I will be over the mood for it. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Sucks that we don't have a feud in here. You know what? I'm going to change this up. Just to sort of guarantee yourself, uh, this is a feud. We will give it a specially match, false count anywhere. I want to do it to make sure our bell curve is perfect here. So that it, what I can do here is switch these two. Even if this one goes off great, it there's no way Carmelo and Gunther don't get four and a half. And I know this one won't do anything. So, and then from here we can do another. T And actually, that's what I'll do. I'll do the other call out here. Get Dragon off calling out MVP. And we'll move these around so that, you know, it makes sense a little bit. There you go. That That's how you do it to make, make sense. 
All right, I think we did it. Enough wiggling around here. But yeah, I think it's time to get on to our SummerSlam. I need to double check title, no title, title, no title, title. All right, we're good, Dan. Always worried about that. All right, let's get to this here. So we are going to have to check out everybody. Oh, we get our show first. All right, it's week 10. All right, so this one here, this has been brewing since I think it was week 20 of season one. We were going to burn this off at the last P PLE. Unfortunately, Paul Heyman pulled his veto card, which means all our champions got vetoed. So Becky was not able to work the show. Smart me. Next next season, I'm not going to put any champions up until the first show. Uh, remember that. But yeah, these two have been hating each other for a while. So let's uh, do her to her here. There's no way in hell Summer... Sorry. There's no way in hell SummerSlam will ever get to Buffalo. I wish. But come on, Buffalo, New York? Really? So those that are just coming in, unfortunately due to YouTube and his uh, flagging of uh, songs, we're unable to uh, put any of the themes in here, so we do have to be on on a creator mode here so you can picture the songs in your head but like really i would love to see cora win this title so then maybe we could set her up with fallon henley i'm thinking it might be a good pick to move on to uh take her on in, after this the biggest thing i want to do after this uh when, when the trades come up if any fighters show up in terms of somebody offer me something. If I could get a couple fighters here, get rid of a few bruisers, I might be interested. Just because the class types, I, I pretty much have mostly bruisers. Now, with Becky here, it, it, it's funny it's this week with the uh, the release of the eight, the uh, the documentary that came up this week and uh, just talking about Becky and her career and how it ended there with uh, my career's been great, blah, blah, blah. WWE expects her to be back, but I honestly, I, I, I find it refreshing that there are some sobering thoughts in fans' minds that maybe wrestling isn't the be-all, do-all. Like, everybody's expecting the women's... Like, uh... Sorry, I was talking about the women's champion, but obviously... Like, Becky, you know, has her priorities in a different order here. Man, that guy's elbows look completely off. Like his wrists just basically just disappear. But no, it, it's really sobering to a lot of fans realizing that they don't have the ability to... Wrestling isn't everything to everybody. While wrestling has to be a complete dedication to be all in, no pun intended from an AEW guy, when it comes to... When it comes to having to set things up to getting your career established, you got to put everything into it. But that takes a lot mentally, physically. And a lot of people, you know, they just want to make their money and get out. Like, 
what a lot of people forget. Owen Hart was just trying to get on his last contract before getting out. He was going to go to uh, WCW, get one big contract and get the hell out because he wanted to be with his family. It's all about making that bank, right? That was too close for our own good here. Oh, there we go. Go for the ride. But yeah, whether Becky comes back, whether Be whether, Re whether Rebecca Knox shows up in AEW, I don't really care as long as she as long as she's happy. Other than that, that's what's the most important. Like. She doesn't have to do the job. That's the thing. She has the money. Like, she's been paid. Yeah. Is she leaving money on the table right now? Absolutely. But it's like we ask when it comes to pro sports all the time. When is too much too much already? Because once you get like 30, like 300 million dollars, like how much can you live off of? Yes, I can understand. You. And it's not like Seth ain't making money. Exactly, Zodiac. Like. We're, we're looking at this like. Like you're seeing quarterbacks now getting 100 million dollars a year, like. That's more money than their grandkids won't spend in a, by the time they're done. Is Cora done? She might be done. She better hurry. That was close. Now is Cora going to be able to drag her back in? There you go. Alright, that sucked. Oh, and it's the disarmer. Is she gonna get the tap out? No. Becky's been pretty much dominating this entire match. As soon as I say that, you know, Cora gets out of the way. Manhandle slab, cover, that should do it. There you go, Becky Lynch retains. In a hellacious match. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Show it off for everybody. Great job by Becky. You now. It's going to be a chess to see who we can set up to take on Becky Lynch here going forward. There we go. Five stars. Perfect. Thank you, Zodiac, for being such a smart man, getting this match moved. I was worried about it being stale, that we might not get the full five stars, but you did the exact great move to tell me to move it. JC Jane. Down six popularity, but up 15 cash. I'll, she can handle it. She my girl, she can handle it. All right, this one here is a false cut anywhere match. I, I We could have put anything in here and it would have been fitted, but I do want to get this rivalry up a little bit, even though it is two bruisers. It might not be the best match in the world. But, oh, I could just yap on about it. 
Uh, you confirm my fears because I was going to move it back. I wanted the confirmation. Now, this one could have been a better match. We could have had Dragunov an MVP here instead. And then could have had a women's title match or a women's contender match, maybe. So one of the one of the GM qualifications I have for uh, getting a Hall of Fame badge is actually to book a card with stipulation matches for the entire card. That's why I wanted to use the two... I wanted to use the two uh, cage matches because those settle feuds. You get an extra 10,000 fans per star in those. And then, uh, yeah, so that worked out perfect. And from wherever she wants, Trixie Gambit. And the only, ma like that backstage brawl, I want to see if we can get MVP and Seth Rollins into a feud. I forgot that we're not actually going to be able to watch that because I don't believe they allow spectating for backstage brawls. I'll see what we get there, but we might only get the four matches to see tonight, but... Being that this is our other major show every year, like, we do have three other PLEs to go, including WrestleMania. But this is our big show to go at it. So I try to use this card here and I use the card, use this card at, uh, at Mania. So we could absolutely go balls to the wall of that card. The only person I'm really worried about in this match is Scarlet because, uh, Scarlet is a little, uh, Under the way. Oh, Trixie gonna win it early? But yeah, once again, everybody, whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching it over here on Twitch, thank you. Always appreciate it. Probably by the next PLE, we're probably going to have a new look for this uh, setup here as we go along. Because I will be changing the stream colors around here and probably look a little little more relaxing to the eye, I, th I feel. Jesus. Power slab on the chair. I will warn you, Saturday's card, the next one after Raw here, it might be a little bit less than what, uh, what we'd actually like here. It's, a, it's an after show from, uh, the PLE, right? So... Yeah, Trixie is being super aggressive, which sort of makes sense with you the heel, right? This rivalry is a little awkward with the fact that they're both bruisers. Jesus! Ava just throws Trixie right into the ropes. Like, that's not even a regular slam. That's just, I want to take your head off. Get out of there. Now, Ava, you're the one who's supposed to go underneath now. Nope, never mind. I wonder how much uh, 2K or Slim Jim paid 2K to be a part of this game. Because with all that extra branding on the outside.
Trixie's trying. And Ava's letting it all hang out too, so. Oh God. Beautiful reversal there. Down with the cover, referee out of position as usual. My God, did he tie his shoelace up like Seth or what? Oh, here we go. Good old kid does stick. Right across the head again and again. Just wearing her out. Oh my God, Ava. You got to react to that. Finally, the stick breaks. Gets it with a dominator. Set Nava up. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. It is time for the last ride. And the cover. That should be it. No. Let's give Ava some credit for kicking out here. Oh, this crowd's all over it. I love it. Nice power slab once again. Like Ava is the hometown girl here too, so it is important to get her on the show. She's actually from the Bronx, but potato, potato, right? Shock treatment. Shout out to the, the Monster Abyss on that one. And only a two count, Trixie, showing some moxie. We're getting a women's wrestling chat. This is awesome. I always loved when the heels would uh, do the pose while do the, do the muscle poses when they don't have any muscles. Earthquake was the most famous for that. Got wrench into the apron. The good old elbow. Trixie taking her time here. Just good old Chuck's a chair. Hashtag Chuck a chair. Into the ring post. Oh, this might be. Oh, wait, no. Just yanking her wherever she wants. Trixie once again going for that bear hug. Is that going to be enough? Might get the tap out here. Referee, get out of the way. I want to use this as a screenshot for the show. Oh, look at the power of the legs there. Into the apron, ugh. Ava fired up. I appreciate the sweat follicles that are on there. You're not used to see that. Oh, same move again. Into the post. Go for the cover, girl. I know I may, be may believe it's not done, but... Sorry, that was my bad makeup joke for tonight. There's a cover. Only a one count? Trixie just not having it here. Little no-sell, I believe is what we call it.
Yeah, Trey Nerd. I, I was shocked too. I, 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 I think if we had the controls up, it'd probably use one of the resilience, right? She bucked out of that, yeah. All right, back into the ring. Let's go. By the way, thank you for the chat, trainer. Oh, there we go. Cut her in half. Go over that suplex once again. That stalling suplex. And Trixie knows what the. Okay. Pulls out the finisher out of nowhere. The last ride. Wow. This crowd is all over it. This match is not supposed to be any good. Oh, went for the splash. No one home. Ava going for the gator roll, trying to take control here. Two finisher kickouts, yeah. That means they got stored finishers, which means we should see a lot of this stuff coming up quick. Slam down, Ava getting desperate, going to the second rope, Brett's rope, as it's infamously called. I think three chair shots would be over. I'm with you, Trader. Close light off the top only gets you at two. Just stomping down the heads now. Like, for two people that... This was just basically a throw-in here match just to make sure that... This match wasn't as good as the maid. Or the opener, sorry. I'm sort of happy that we didn't put this one as our... Uh, as our fourth match now. I know it sucks that we have the two women's matches and then three men's, but... Show stealer, absolutely. And Ava kicks out of a finisher. All right. I think they're making up for the fact that we're not going to be able to watch the backstage brawl, right? Got rich power bomb. What's Trixie thinking? Oh, got to get the chair. But it did work that time. Oh, look out. Chuck treatment. Hooks a leg. And the shock treatment gets the victory. Didn't get all that chair, but got, got the victory here. Met Hulk Hogan today. How was that? Ava Moreno with the victory here. Hell of a job here by Ava. Like, like I said, when I booked this show, like it, it, if you guys were here earlier, it got a three star. The, the first time these two fought, it got one. So yeah, I'll definitely take a three star out of those two. Uh, it was a long line. Pro of course he was promoting saying I, I, I automatically knew that with the fact that, you know, it is Hogan. He ain't going to beat anybody unless that, that happens, so... All right, Brittany didn't do her best with the charity promo. I can understand that. We get to watch this? All right, for the Intercontinental title, because I wanted Seth on this card, we are getting Seth freaking Rollins versus MVP in a backstage brawl, mainly because I want to do a backstage brawl, and since I'm getting this card for free, we're doing a backstage brawl. And I put it in the middle because this could be five stars and it don't matter at this point. Let's go. Oh, let's go. I'm waiting. To, I'm looking for this. Fight. Oh, 
So this is the first backstage brawl on our card. And I thought it might be apropos to have MVP in this matchup because he, uh... He did go to Bloodsport and he is planning on going there once his WWE contract's up. In probably just a few weeks. But yeah, as we've hit the middle of this card, folks, uh, thank you for stopping by here, whether you're watching. Is all American Beal a white ale? I will definitely give you a rib shot on that one. Also met Hacksaw at a baseball game. Yeah, um, really nice guy. I know I met him here at a PWA show. He was doing some signings here, so. Oh God, I thought you were gonna send them over the side. No, there was WrestleCon this weekend as well, so a lot of people out there. Ah, I see. I appreciate having you trade here regardless. It was a... Uh, it was a somewhat appropriate joke based on Hogan's past, but... Are they just going to fight up here? Or are they actually going to make it down there somehow? I'd love to see him take the elevator here. Trainer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Players Pit. Enjoy the food, enjoy the company. Watch out for the drinks, because I think McG spiked it. One of our fellow Players Pit members here. We're on that road to 600 here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That guardrail's gone. I think somebody's going down. Oh my god, that guardrail's gone too. Somebody's getting out of here. Almost. Oh, please. Please get the elevator. I need popcorn now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. At least I know what we're doing. Control this by ma hand. You know, it'll, uh, They'll actually go somewhere outside of just the... Oh, God. Rollins is cut open. I'd love to see MVP win that title. That's the last guardrail that's allowed. They're not going to let him fall off there, are they? Nope. Oh, God. Face first. In the submission. Could this be a tap out right here? Nice reversal by Rollins getting out of it. But MVP's just unrelenting here. So yeah, once again, for those that are watching here, we do record these every Wednesday and Saturday night after AEW Dynamite and AEW Collision. Oh no, MVP split open. Please tell me you're going downstairs. 
Nope. Another guardrail. I can see the uh, the online settings for this are a little off. But I got a feeling this won't last too much longer. Nope, bring it back over here. Realistically, this could be a one-star match. Oh, there he goes! Finally, somebody dumped someone to the outside. Rollins has got to be close to being done after that. Oh, no, he reverses. Oh, God. Pedigree on the concrete. Oh, my God. Reverse into an RKO. MVP steals the RKO. I almost wonder if that would be a finish there. Oh, face first. I think you have to finish it with your finisher here. There it is. With the playmaker. Setting up. And the payback for Benjamin. Rollins fighting back here. Shot to the stomach. Oh, is he gonna get it? There's the stop. You gonna cover? Oh no, he just knock out. Go for another pedigree. Not done yet. Okay. A sec. Oh, there it goes. Second stop and Rollins. Rollins retains. In a four and a half star clap. My God. Yeah. SummerSlam is just. Yeah. How Seth thought that? I don't know. But yeah, he's still the champ. And now Dragunov's pissed because he should have got an icy title shot out of that. All right, our next match here. Submission match between one half of the tag team champions, Scarlet, and then Ivy Nile. This feud has actually been going before the tag titles were even introduced. Uh, this is a level three rivalry. Hopefully this will make it a level four and we can uh, dissipate this further up the road here. So let's take a look at this. Based on what's been happening before, I, I do hope so as well. I'm actually thinking of possibly making Scarlet the next contender. If we don't do JC, we do Scarlet for the next contender to take on Becky. Eventually, I want Scarlet to be the, or sorry, I want JC and Becky to be somewhat of a main event for for the fifth set of matches. But it's been, it's been amazing how well uh, Scarlet's been working in this season so far. 
from Sin City, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Scarlett! Ah, you're a Brewers fan. Congratulations on their victory. My Blue Jays lost once again. And as always, water's wet. They have been on a winning streak lately, but, you know, things can come back down to earth rather quickly at times. Especially when it comes to the bullpen. So we are running this in creator mode if uh, people are just tuning in. As we, uh, YouTube frowns on the WWE music because it gets flagged as soon as you uh, see it. But it's been pretty amazing as well as it hasn't been amazing. We know how good Scarlet really is if you've been following her on the indies. But in this game, she is really a she is truly a killer in this game. Gonna try your first stream tomorrow? Cool. Best of luck for you. What do you think of streaming? I always say that Roblox or Fortnite. Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes you just got to get out there and do it, right? Yeah, when it comes yeah, when it comes to streaming, sometimes you just got to basically shut up and do it that's why that's what I had to do when I got started here just I think it's almost five years well during the pandemic basically when I started gaming game streaming so yeah this is a submission match so The only, the, the only way to win in this match is by submission. Uh, you have to actually get your partner to say I quit, or your opponent, sorry. All right, Scarlet. I don't think anybody's going to submit to that. Save the jokes for later. I'll just put that out there already for you. Yeah, Scarlet does have that as one of her moves. Just, yeah. This was booked before Vince was... This game was produced before Vince was gone. Let's put it that way. So there are a few uh, intricacies that are a little different than what they should be. Another boot to the face. Scarlet working over the legs. I'm assuming that she's got like a figure four or something she's gonna have to use in this. Ref, what are you doing? Ref, what are you doing? It's a submission match. What the hell are you worried about? Ivy just can't get out of the blocks here tonight. Which actually works for me because Scarlet's almost injured. Nice reversal there by Ivy. I don't think the referee should be either. I think it might be a, a glitch. 
I could understand if it was pure rules, but... I think when the programmer set up this match, it was just simply a, uh... It was set up as an ODQ match. Nice splash by Scarlet. Ivy once again. Ivy just flew off the knee, yeah. Oh, there's a submission. Is that gonna be it? No. Scarlet getting herself out of it there. Now just pull it on that hair. I don't know what Scarlet has for a submission. This might be a no-win situation for her. Scarlet just taking control right now. I can just imagine this gauge going back and forth. Canadian Destroyer, okay, let's go. Oh, here we go. Dragon Sleeper, she got nowhere to go. Oh, that's some hell of a head strength. There is a very, uh, it's a similar setup, so I don't blame you for thinking that. One thing I do know is I think we're going to have to definitely give Scarlet some time off after this match. That's got to be it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Ivy was in a... Right in the driver's seat there. The one thing about PLEs, they give you extra stamina as you go. So... It's not set up like your typical... Typical match, you get a little extra boost in your character that way. <sighs> yeah, I think what the developers did is they just, uh... They just turned off pinfalls rather than, uh, just turning everything off but submissions. Nice splash! That's gotta be it. Scarlet's gonna be done. Back up to her feet. Into the Dragon Sleeper. That's gonna be it. That'll be a tap. Yep. I just hope Scarlet isn't hurt. Because as she came into this, uh... Yeah, congrats to Ivy. Great job. I hope this puts the rivalry up to a level four. I just hope Scarlet isn't hurt. Oh, they finished the rivalry. Damn. All right, that'll work. That's fine. So we're going to get our extra Hall of Fame badge already. I can live with that. Three and a half star rivalry complete. All right, that'll work. Tag team rivalry goes up to a level three. That works for me. And now our main event. These guys have been fighting for about a month here. Well, I guess two months because Gunther wasn't allowed to work the uh, PLE either. And uh, this was my first ever, well, this was my second week of uh, the stream as we started. 
And these guys have just been basically back and forth, working their way up. Last week, we finally got it to a level four. So we're going to finish this off in a cage here. So there is a possibility we could have two phase champions by the time we're done. We could actually have three phase champ. This could be the... We could end up having four of our five titles be on faces after this. Because realistically, Carmelo could win this. Because after this, we could end up put... Well, we'd have to figure out what kind of feuds we're going to have going forward, but... Because we're only going to have four more weeks till our next PLE because they come in groups of five. Well, once again, as we're getting into our main event, thank you for everybody for stopping by here. Uh, we are, uh, we record these every Wednesday and Saturday after uh, Dynamite and Collision for AEW. And they're reposted on our YouTube channel every Tuesday and Friday prior to the next show so if you miss one you can go back and check it out on the youtube channel it's been really fun getting back into this and we should be uh if everything works out season two will be done at the end of september And as Guter comes out here, just dominating. I, I love the fact that Guter's champion going into uh, Bash in Berlin. I love this crowd. They, uh... So for anybody that needs clarification, Guter is not from Germany. He's from Austria. Ludwig Kaiser's from Germany. However, Guter either owns or owned a promotion in Germany called WXW. It's where he got started. And it's probably one of the, one of the most well-known promotions in Germany. As we're going to get the introductions from Mike Rome, this is actually perfect. Well, on Twitch, we got ads running right now, so works out perfect. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds. Mello is money. And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Gunter. He's been the champ since the start. Let's see if he stays that way. Just been so dominant. So once we're done this, uh, we will have to go in and check out the other brands, what their cards were. And then uh, we'll get the report cards, see any trades that go by, and we'll set up for next week. So Gunter has decided he's not fooling around. As long as this match gets above three and a half stars, I will be happy. This is not going to get over three and a half stars if he leaves already. Get over there, Mello.
Didn't even give him the chance to knock him down. That's amazing. Well, I guess when Bellows known as a cruiser, that makes sense, right? And Gutu just no sold that immediately. So what? Our main event here just looks like the story of no sell. I think that might be what this is called here tonight. But yeah, as we're getting to our main event here, Bello, Bello posing. I would think you try to get out. You're in there with Guter, my friend. Any chance you got to win, you got to escape. Down for the cover. Please don't finish it that way. I need a real finish here. The standard has been set. Three and a half stars for that submission match earlier. They're ripping and tearing at the face. Ugh. Going up, all oh, nice reversal there by Mello. Bellow's got to use his speed and quickness to get through this. I don't even know if he gets a one count. Nope. Off the ropes, flying clothesline. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Gunther, Gunther's firing up. This might not be good for Bello. Air raid crash into the pin. That quick? This might be not the best finish here. Here is your winner. And still the The only thing that's saving me is the fact that we get extra for the rivalry, right? That was definitely Gunther's matches are always short. Oh, we're getting four and a half, so we're we're fine. We're fine. Oh, in general. All right, so yeah, th this is gonna be known as amazing booking once we get to that. That was a blink and you miss it match. Well, one thing I've been finding is a lot of Gunther's are. But now we're gonna have to try and find a new contender to build up. Because this rivalry's done, but with that being said, let's go see what everybody else did. One promo. One promo. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Alright, Baser versus Carmella opening match. This has been a level four rivalry going before. Carmella. Four star match. Hey, good. 3,000 fans for Strowman. Women's title match. Let's see if your, th your theory is there. With a run in by Bailey. Natalia taking up Molly Holly. Molly Holly wins. Rivalry not finished. Three star match. All right. Taker versus Jey Uso. This has been a level four rivalry for them. Jimmy Uso. Finishes the rivalry in a four-star match. All right. Triple threat match. The World Heavyweight Champion Otis taking on Nakamura and Randy Savage. Can I nab legends? I can. I have to pay for them. Unfortunately, that's the problem. I have to pay for them. And the prices on them, not just to find them, but to also book them is... Ugh. One, two, three, four. 
There might be a way I get out of it, depending on how things go here. Savage wins, and the rivalry is complete between the other two competitors. Hilarious. And the title wasn't on the line. Our main event tag title match, level four rivalry. R Truth and Champa versus Rude Breaker. You notice that they couldn't spend money on anything here? Here's the other thing I want you guys to pay attention to as we go through this. You notice they only had the, the one title match that was a... It was $2,000 because of the run-in. He couldn't pay for any of that because he had to pay for Savage. So, and... Now we got new champs. That's the only way he got a four and a half out of that. But all right. So he's got all the promos. He's got two. He's got one stipulation match out of the whole thing. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Big E and Elton Prince. Iron Man match. Two, it's over. Bring it. Draw. You guys suck. I've never seen a draw. All right, Steamboat Grog, that's going to be a horrible fight going forward. That's okay. Andre Chase and Finn Balor, no title on the line. Because I think his partner's hurt for four weeks. Two-star match, I love it. Attaboy Bischoff, keep it going. Adrian Buck, nothing. I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, Raquel Rodriguez, Alexa Bliss. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Raquel wins in a four-star match growing that rivalry. Okay, that's nice. Geriatric with a horrible promo, but gets the, gets the rivalry over, so he wins that way. George Steele versus Paragon J. Pierce. One, Just a match. Two. George Steele wins as a heel in a two-star match. Like, his matches are horrible. Grog, since he wasn't the guy who did the uh, call-out promo, he was the callee. He gets to do another promo later. And our main event match for the heavyweight championship. Johnny Gargano defending against Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and everybody's favorite, Tim Burr. A.K.A. Josh Alexander. Randy Orton is your new heavyweight champion for WCW. Who's hurt? Gargano's out for five weeks. So he cannot make the next PLE unless they use a card. All right, let's see what ECW's got. All singles matches, two stipulation matches. All right, that makes sense. This is a little bit more makes sense of the card here. So Valhalla versus Candice LeRae in an Iron Man match. Candice LeRae wins. Four-star match. Grows a rivalry. Isla Dodd put a uh, charity promo. Gets 37 hour fans. That's good. Josh Briggs, Logan Paul. Always great to see with the champs not doing anything special. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. For five cents. Neon Bright Star, 10 ring experience with her training. So she's just upped herself a level. That's good. Indy Hartwell, Blair Davenport. Indy, can you rap Thugonomics? Hartwell, if you saw the Sammy Zayn show, she did an absolutely fantastic job of uh, doing the basic Thugonomics gimmick. Let's check out the... Three and a half star robbery complete. Good for you. Call of Vicky McLeod. Two jobbers called each other out. That's great. The Miz taking on Julius Creed in a regular one on one match. Miz wins. Growl of the rivalry. Should have put the title on the line, you chicken cowards. So they just upped their promo two levels just by doing back to back call outs. That's hilarious. Why wouldn't she set that up before the PLE, you jerks? 
False Count Anywhere match, main event, no title on the line. Garza, Bait, and Priest. One, two, that's it. It's over. It's so Garza wins. In a, pff, Jesus, all right. At least the rivalry grows a little bit there for them. All right, let's see the report card. Amazing booking. Amazing booking. Let's just... Amazing booking. So we got that rivalry complete. This one's up to a level two when it had no reason to be. No rivalry there. Level three. Level three. Rivalry complete. No injury, but I want to check SAG here. Scarlet's only down to 27 stamina? That's awesome. All right, so the rivalry got us four stars out of that. Class matchups were good. Match types were good. Performances were decent. Popularity's okay. Match specialty, <laughs> at least one star there. So we're good there. Then rivalry complete here. So we're good there. Amazing booking for them. They did shize it. I guess they followed the square properly, so. Rivalry complete, rivalry complete, rivalry complete. One promo. They get amazing booking even though their stars are like horrible. Gargano five weeks. A lot of level threes, one level four. So they're gonna be good for after the PLE, but not right now. Lare Valhalla. Briggs Paul, that rivalry's done. Garcia McLeod, Ms. Crete. All right, so we got through it all. Now the important part, the final scores. 120. We gained 157,000 fans, and we now have $337,000. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, all right. Nothing, no special news here, so we're good there. Folks, we're buying a bigger arena on Saturday. Depending on these trades that are coming up. Raw got a better score than us, though. 124. Uh, this must be the superstar level bonuses there. Uh, not as much money, so everybody's got to be looking at us for some cash. We'll see how these scores line up at the end here. 115, so it wasn't as good of a show. And they got 364, so they got cash too. Nobody spent money, so they managed to keep up. 115... Now they're at 234, so. All right, well, we did that. Well, let's see what power cards we get. Nice. Complete five challenges. We got our GM. Oh, we got another two-bit arena card. I like that. That's the commissioner's goal. Oh, that's going to help when somebody gets injured. That's all we got? Okay. So we have resumed our number one spot due to, and I do qualify this, due to the Hall of Fame trophies only. Raw still has more fans. We have a bigger budget than, than everybody but WCW. And yeah, so we still have some work to do here to get our fans back. But once we get the next arena, we should be able to handle that. But before we move on, we do have to get our end of season. There's a trade window that opens up here. So they're going to be offering some trades. I'm probably going to say no to all of them or laugh at them. And then uh, from there, we're going to uh, see our details. What's going to be coming up in week 11. So let's do a tour. So ECW is offering Blair Davenport, who's a specialist, for Cora Jade and Brittany. I can counter trade, but he wants to give me 60,000 cash 
and Blair Davenport for Jade and Brittany. How fast can I say no? The thing is, if you take anybody off their roster, you are also taking their contract. So you do have to pay for that as well. She's annoyed, so he's trying to get rid of her. With all due respect, I don't think so at this point. I'm going to decline this right now. He tried to do it again with more money. Ugh, it's almost tempting at this point. 130, so that's 205 for 202. Like the money works out, it balances itself out. I'd basically be losing a face out of this. No active rivalries with Brittany. Get Candace. But here's the problem. I throw Candace on there. Oh, I, I have to actually... I'll have a window to be able to do it later. What do you think about this? Because I this is actually their proposals to me, so I got to... Uh, do I try this one more, to decline it one more time and see if maybe he'll sweeten it up a little bit more? Keep Brittany? Okay. So we'll decline the trade again. Let's see if he tries one more time here. Nope, he gave up. So they want Cora, and they're offering me Tim Burr, Tim Burr, Chase, and 70 grand. So that's 100 and... Well, the money's about even. Yeah, Cora is in high demand because she's also annoyed with the fact that uh, she she lost that title match. As far as I'm concerned, Cora's going to get a good feud here going. So, yeah, no, I don't think so at this point. It's good to help the roster that way, but at the same time, they're not offering me fighters either. So what's Raw offering me? So they want to give me Carmella. They want me to dump both and add some cash to it. Uh, you. Ugh. Carmella ain't worth that much. So now I get a chance to do stuff. So Candace would be held for 193. Who would I dump? I'd try to dump like those contracts there, but I can't retain that much salary. If I was going to take Cora, that would be the that'd be the worst. I need Bruiser's gone. I don't know if it would help if I actually get rid of her there. Just keep Britney no matter what. Yeah, okay. I see where that's going. I think we're good. 
I, I don't need I, I like the roster that I have. I I can pick up some free agents as we go. So let's just let's see what we get for our uh power card. Oh, no power card yet. Alright, so I'm losing mine at the end of the week. That's fine. Oh, what's Paul gotta say? Go for Logan Paul. He can feud with... I don't want Logan Paul anywhere near my brand. He's too toxic on too many ways. Your show really topped the charge. How'd you be able to pull that off? This is my star spend cash wisely. Words to live by. Nice job. But I'll get you next time. Ah, right. Oh, God. Guter wants me to work with him here. Honestly, train nerd, he doesn't for me. His wrestling does not make up for what he does. Um, If I'm going to do this, it would be against a jobber. You know what? I think... I could hire a one-week jobber to go against him, but I'll go into his corner. Just to keep him happy. Then this one. And the fans are starting to forget about me. Do you have tonight's card? Yes. You have 67 stamina. I will definitely make sure you're there. All right, so here we go. All right, so we got break a leg. When superstars return from injury, they gain 10 popularity. We shouldn't have anybody uh, injured here coming up. Extensive PR trade. Select a superstar with mic skill one to change your mic skill to five. Or if a giant superstar wins a fatal four-way match, they gain 40K. They're going to use the mic card. I, I don't... As much as I would put Gunter in a four-way match, I don't know if he'd win one. Just because everybody else is too busy trying to meander through things. And I don't think it's worth the, worth the rush on that. Let's get some better promos in here. Well, Maya's gone, so I guess we'll use Clint for that. All right. All right, so we got our season chal challenges for the most part done already. We just got the extras now that we can do. Spend one million or more on shows. We're, we're on our way. We're going to have to spend a lot more here. Surpass 600000 in the bank. That we're going to have to do with the extra logistics coming on. We got to buy a couple more power cards to get this one. Book five sh shows using all match rule. Because I use two tech, ah, because I use two cage matches to count. Okay. That's okay. So we will have a few things to book here. Coming up next week. We got stacks. We got to get involved here. Gunter, we don't have to do this today, this week. But I think next week we are going to pick up the arena. So we could actually... Uh, right now we are getting 10,000 people at 250 a ticket. We get this. We'll get 20,000 at $3 a ticket. So... I got a feeling it's going to be very important for us to book that match or book that venue for us. So once we get that venue, we should be able to make a ton more money here. And then from there, we get the extra. There's two tiers left, which will take a long time to get, which we probably won't get till season three or four. But with that, we should be able to get a ton more fans here. So. But yeah, with that being said, uh, that's going to wrap it up here for... Well, let's just take a quick look here. 
Uh, for those watching on YouTube, we are in the middle of an ad break right now, so I don't like finishing in the middle of an ad break. Uh, the next thing's coming up. We got stage crew. We'll be able to build these up a little faster with uh, the ability to get a bigger stadium, so we'll get some extra money out of it. So, But yeah, with that being said, that's going to wrap up uh, this week here on uh, WWE 2K24 by GM mode. For those on Twitch, stand by. We'll send a raid out and get everything going here in just a moment. For those on YouTube, thank you for checking things out here tonight. Once again, we do record these every Wednesday and Saturday uh, following AEW Dynamite and Collision over on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And uh, yeah, these come up every Tuesday and Friday over on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel, which you're already on here. If you like what you see, please hit the uh, like button, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button while you're there too. Feel free to throw a comment in there on what you would see changed here in terms of our roster some of the matches some of the feuds you want to see but with that being said thank you for being here tonight and remember be part of the solution don't be part of the problem and we'll see y'all here next time on the backbreaker gaming youtube channel take care everybody